told you that travel or destination channels, just like this one or this one or this one, are making over $10,000 a month without having to show their faces or use their own voices. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step -step on how you can use the latest AI technology, easy to use tools, that way you can start your own travel or destination channel. And all I ask is that you watch through the entire video, that way you don't miss any of the important steps that I'm gonna be covering. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go onto YouTube and look up just top 10 places. And then you can see here, YouTube is telling us what people are actually searching for. So top 10 places to visit in Colombia, top 10 places to visit in Spain, in Greece, in China. So these are all different video ideas that we could create because YouTube is telling us what people are searching for. So we can see here, it says top 10 places, 10 beautiful places to visit in Colombia. This is 10 places to visit in Colombia, travel sports, travel media. And if we go to this channel, for example, we can see what some of their videos are like and what some of their most popular videos are. 1 million views, 430,000, 274. And you can see here, they're just doing these top 10 places. And the citizens are among the friendliest people in Europe. So this channel is just using B-roll. There's no captions and they are using an automated voice. But what we're going to do is actually something better than this channel because we're going to be adding subtitles. We're going to be adding a more natural voice and all of that will be done automatically in one click. So you don't have to do anything else. And then we'll be able to create content that is even better than this one. So you'll be able to get millions of views more than even this channel. Now, I don't want to gloss over the fact that this channel is producing a lot of content. You can see here they're producing content every few days, probably because it requires a bit of work from them. But every once in a while, they do have a video that really starts to pop off. You can see this one is 10 places to visit in Jamaica. So maybe they start doing more Jamaica content or scrolling down and we're looking at some of the videos. And then this one's got 10,000, 10 things to do in Tulum, Mexico. So you can use an automated voice. You can add the B-roll, you can add the captions, but we're just trying to do stuff that would just incrementally be better. You just want to make sure that every single video is better. The same that I do on this channel, every video that I create, I'm always looking to see what I can do just a little bit better in the next video. This video got 41,000 views, 10 beautiful places to visit in Finland. So you can see here, people are obviously watching these videos with an automated voice and very little text, just B-roll. So we're gonna be taking this channel idea up a notch and making it even better. So we just did a little bit of market research and we saw that top 10 places to visit in Colombia was a popular search. And then we looked at one of the channels that had one of the top videos. And then we went to the popular and we saw that this video right here has over a million views and top 10 beautiful places to visit in Sweden. So obviously this is a popular video. So what we can do is we can just go to ChatGPT and we can say, give me a list of the top things to do in Sweden. Maybe we can create a video about the things to do in Sweden. Maybe that's something that people want to watch. And just like that, ChatGPT is coming up with a bunch of different places in Sweden that we could highlight in our video. All right, so now what I'm just going to do is I'm going to say, tell me more about number one. It gave me a lot of information about Stockholm, Sweden that I didn't even know. Maybe I just want to take specific parts for this, or maybe my list is just a little bit smaller and I only include maybe five of the items on this list and then I make a part two where I give it another five things that they should do in Sweden. So now that we have a video, we have an outline for the video, we have the content for the video, let's also come up with a hook for the video. So the intro, give me a intro to a YouTube video about the top things to do in Sweden. So welcome to our video about the top things to do in Sweden from studying natural landscapes to vibrant cities filled with history and culture, etc., etc. So this looks like a pretty decent intro. Obviously we could play around with this, we can modify it. I don't recommend taking everything cookie cutter, but what you can do is play around with this and use this as a good baseline. All right, so now that we have all the content, this is the funnest part because we're just going to be able to automatically create our videos just like that in the snap of a finger with this tool called Flicky. Flicky, what it does is it turns text into videos with AI voices. So what's great about Flicky is that it's so versatile. So if you wanted to create videos like the one I'm showing you here, or maybe you actually wanted to work as an agency helping other people create videos from their blog posts, you can also transform blog articles into videos very easily. And the voices from Flicky that they offer, I have not heard anywhere else. These are some of the most natural voices that I've ever heard. And I'm going to be showing you what those sound like in just a moment. And probably one of the coolest features about Flicky is that it will auto caption and auto select the B-roll based on the text that you give it. You'll see in a minute, but once you copy the text over, it will automatically space it out, add voices and B-roll to it automatically. So you don't have to do any of that work yourself. And if you would, please use the link in the description. It comes at no additional cost to you. And it greatly supports me being able to create videos just like this 
this for you. All right, so when you create your account in Flicky, it's going to look like this, and then you're going to click on new file, and we're just going to name this Sweden things to do, and we are going to select video. You can do audio if you want, if you wanted to do like a podcast. One of the cool things that I did not mention earlier was that you can change the language to whatever you want. So when it's going to be generating the automated voices, you can change it to whatever you want, and you can also change the captions automatically too, which is pretty mind-blowing. This is a really overpowered tool, but we're going to click create. You can see here we have our studio. So now what I'm going to do is just go back to ChatGPT and I am going to copy over this text and we are going to copy that and then just paste this into this area over here. And then on the bottom right, you can see auto pick video. I'm just going to click on that. And what it's going to do is it's going to try to find a video based on the text. So it's going to read all the text and identify what would be the most appropriate stock video based on what is being said. Now, one of the things that I'm going to do is actually just copy some of this text and then paste it into another block just like this because what I actually wanted to do is I wanted to just create a video a short b-roll just for this text and then I want a different b-roll video for this one all right so I just refresh the page now I'm going to do auto pick video and now it's going to try to find a video just based on this text over here and you can see there it has come up with the video and then I'm just going to go to this one and then auto pick video and just like that we have more video I'm going to go back to chat GPT I'm going to copy this first section over here go down click and auto pick video. All right, so now we have our intro and then we have our first paragraph of the section that we're gonna be talking about. So what I wanna do is I just want to listen and see how this video came out. Welcome to our video about the top things to do in Sweden. Whether you're a foodie, an outdoor enthusiast, or a history buff, there's no shortage of amazing experiences to be had in this beautiful country. So let's say I don't want it such a long B-roll video like that and I wanna space it out a little bit more, I'm just gonna take that and copy it over there. And then instead of auto-generating the video, let's say I just wanted to find something very specific. So let's say I wanted to do like welcome. Maybe I want to do this video since we're talking about join us as we explore the top things to do. So you can see we have a large stock library that you get for free when you get flicky. Let's say that we didn't want Sarah's voice, which I think sounds really good. What we can do here is we can do change voice and then we can see all of the different voices that we have available. Flicky helps you create audio and video content. So that one sounds a little bit more robotic. Flicky helps you create audio and video. James, Flicky helps you create Sarah. So as you can see, we have a wide variety, but the the coolest thing here is that we can change the language to whatever other language we want. Let's say I wanted to do Swedish, so I'm going to go here, click on Swedish, and then the dialect Swedish, and then we have different Swedish voices. And I'm going to apply this voice to all other sections. And now when we click play, we will have someone speaking in Swedish. But as you can see, they're speaking in a Swedish dialect, but they're reading the things in English. So how do we fix that? Well, that's very easy. We could just go here and then we can do translate and then we can select the language. We'll go down and we can click Swedish. And now it's actually going to take all of our script, turn it into Swedish, and then we'll have our Swedish accent person Halevi. From fantastiska naturlandskap till pulserande städer fyllda med historia och kultur. Sverige har något för alla. Följ med oss när vi utforskar de bästa sakerna att se och göra i Sverige. So let's say we're happy with this video. We can go to video settings. We can change the typography to whatever we want. So maybe we want to do white. Maybe we want a different font. We can also change the video size. So that way it is, let's say for YouTube, we're going to click that. And now we have a YouTube video. Instead, let's say we want to do TikTok. And then we just go here. And just like that, we have a TikTok video. I've never seen a tool do this so easily. So now what we can do is we can click on export and we will have the video downloaded. And just like that, we have our video. Now we're gonna click on download. Now, if we really wanted to take this video up a notch, we could do one last thing and that is adding on some background music. So if you just wanted to post this video as is, that's fine. But you may find that you are always trying to just one up yourself and trying to get better with every single video. And that's where this next tool will come into play because we'll be able to edit the videos, add in music and do all of that very, very easily. And the tool that we'd wanna use is NVIDIA because it just makes video editing so easy and it is very affordable. What's really great about NVIDIA is that it offers you the same content, the same content that you can find in Storyblocks or in Vado Elements. You get all of that music, all of the videos, all the editing capabilities, all of this into one platform. The B-roll alone for a lot of videos can cost you around $20 a month, but you get all of that in NVIDIA with this one tool. Or if you wanted to edit your videos, maybe tweak things, add more B-roll, whatever it is, you can do that all within NVIDIA and I'm going to show you how to use that right now. 
when you log into NVIDIA, it's gonna look like this, and we're going to click on Create New, and then Editor, and then you can see here, we can also modify our video to different portions. I'm just going to do the portrait mode since we downloaded our video in portrait, and then we are going to take this video, drag it here, and then once it is loaded, we will be able to click and then just add it to our timeline just like that. So there's our video, now we're gonna go click on Music, and then we are going to look up maybe Fun. All right, that sounds fun. So I'm going to click add layer and it's going to add it to our timeline. And you can see just how easy this is. And I need to extend that just a little bit here. I'm going to do a couple of different effects here. So now I'm just gonna listen and see. Okay, I think this audio needs to go up a little bit. So now what I'm just gonna do is I'm going to click on this element here, go to volume, and then I'm just going to increase it just a little bit. And then maybe what I wanna do is maybe lower this volume just a little bit. All right, so I think it's sounding pretty good. Maybe I wanna do a little outro video here. So I might go to video and then I'll just say, we'll do subscribe. I might have a little call to action that says subscribe. Let's do this one. And I'm just gonna add that to the end, just like that. I'm gonna extend the audio a little bit. And just like that, we have our video. Now I can click on export and then we will be able to download our video in 1080p. So the very last thing that we have to do is create our thumbnail. And luckily we have a great free tool that we can use, which is Canva. So we're gonna click on create a design and then we're going to look up YouTube and then thumbnail, click on this. And then we just wanna look and see what some of the top videos are doing. So when we go here, we can see it's pretty basic. They have a picture of the location and then big words in bold, a little red thing. It's pretty simple. So what I'm I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to elements and then I'm going to look up Sweden and then I'm going to click on photos and on my account you can see because I'm using Canva Pro I have these little options where I can use these premium photos but you can also see that there's a bunch of non premium photos that you can use as well and you can also just filter that so you could just say we want all the free photos for example if you're not gonna get Canva Pro I would maybe recommend getting Canva Pro just because it is a very very useful tool I use it all the time this photo looks pretty good so we can do something like that you know maybe it's a little bit too bright or something Thing. Maybe we want to dilute that color a little bit. So now what I'm just going to do is I'm going to click on this lines and shape here. I'm going to make this black and then I'm going to put this in one corner and then drag this over to the bottom. You just see how easy this is from creating the videos, the thumbnails. This never used to be so easy to be able to create videos like this before. And now I've just added a little bit of a, a dark hue on top. Now our text will be able to stand out a bit more. I'll go to text. I'm going to pick a heading and then we can pick a different font that we want. You know, maybe I might do this one, League Spartan. This one's always a good good font. Drag that up, Sweden. And what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna lock this one because it's kind of getting annoying. So I'm just gonna click on here and then we will click on lock. So now I can't move this one. All right, so now we've got Sweden and then I might just add some extra text and then we'll go subheading, top 10 things to do. Make this bigger, take it by the corner. Maybe I wanna add a little circle and we wanna put that next to the 10, for example. And let's say we just make this red just to show you what it kind of looks like on the other channel. You know, there's looks something kind of like that. Ours looks pretty similar. Now, I'm not saying that you copy the thumbnail exactly. Definitely make yours unique and original, but you can just see how easy it is. We were able to create a video using ChatGPT to come up with the ideas for the video and then using an AI tool, automatically put in all the B-roll, added a voiceover, added captions for us, and then we were able to add music just to take it up a little bit of a notch. And then finally, to finish the video, we created a thumbnail in just a few seconds. How easy was that whole process? You have no excuses to go out and start making videos if you have an idea, if you have a passion and you want to start a YouTube channel, now is the time to be able to do it with AI technology, making it so accessible for anybody with any skill set to start their YouTube business. Now is the time. If you like this video, then check out this video over here about some of the best AI tools that are currently available.